Amet. Oh, just missed. So behind 16, 11, 15, 10. That was a gimme too, Bruce. And Armet's beautiful movement that he's got. He could have just walked away into that goal like Michael Graham does. You can see him run high in the air. Wilson, Gallagher recovers, holds his feet well. Shepherd then. Gallagher the ball, Dwyer taking the mark. So Eddie Fry warming up on the boundary line. So Dwyer, who's played at full forward and full back today, has kicked two goals, one. Eddie Fry getting ready. Things going Nord's way all of a sudden. He's got it. Three goals to O'Dwyer, and the Red Legs are coming back. It's 17-11 Nord, 15-10 Sturt. It's a good lead now that the Red Legs have got. Been a very good five minutes. Gary Ford coming off the ground. Eddie Fry coming on. And Des O'Dwyer, good height and movement. Andrew Downs has been safe all day, but on that occasion, O'Dwyer too good, and Downs could be feeling the pinch a little bit. Not playing as safe as he did early. Spoiled away well. And O'Dwyer's kick was accurate to the bar. John Halbert just having a think about things. 113 to 100. Button, Sims, Graham, Barbary. We've been outroaded today, Sturt. Or Till did it well. Lachlan, Neagle, Nord have found some run. Roberts wants it short. Gallagher, now Roberts will get it. Now, can he kick a goal? He's the best we've seen for a few years. He's unruled. <laughs> Number nine has kicked nine, and the Norwood stand is almost lifted off its roof. Or the other way around. Maybe Tim Fake did a little bit better on Neville Roberts than you think. You see, you make the change thinking that the fellow is getting killed. But in fact, what happens is the other bloke's going to kick 20, either kick 25 on somebody else. And Neil Curley made the statement when Rick Davies kicked 15 the other week that he'd have kicked 20 if he'd have put anything body else on him. And maybe he was right. Roberts is unbelievable. What a goal kicker he is. Barbary. Now Sturt came back in the second quarter. Can they do it now? Ball up. Robert, they were four goals, four behind. Halfway through the second quarter, they put themselves in front. Are they good enough from here? I think that look, Sturt are, are very tired, Bruce. They, had, they kick into a breeze in the first quarter, remember? And they've had to work hard. Whereas... And Nord have had an opportunity not to, and Graham gets it over to Derrington. Maybe this is one of them. It's not. That would have been a lifter. But I think it might be a dampener at this stage to do that from such easy range. And Jim Derrington missing the goal. That'll be Graham Hughes from fullback. Towards Jim Teal. Hollis from the side. Off hands to Schmal. Forward to Lachlan. Lachlan just hitting it towards the boundary line and out of bounds. So it's out of bounds on the half forward flank. Sturt showing a little bit of panic at the moment. A smooth machine. She's not smooth. She's looking a little bit rough. Button thumped a little away. Zubernik. A hurried kick out of bounds on the full. Nord has kicked seven of the last eight goals in this game. Sturt led 14-7 to 11-10 at one stage in the third quarter. And since that moment, the Red Eggs have added seven out of the last day. Screw punt. Michael Lenny, Pate, jumped on by Button. Reed and Roberts. Roberts takes a dive. He's very clever, though. Neagle. That's a magnificent kick by Neagle. It's got a chance. It's a goal. What a goal. Well, the Red Legs are certainly running now. That's kicking to the goal square. Favourable bounce, all done again by Neville Roberts. As he managed to fight for the ball with Peter Reid. Knocked the ball on. And Richard Neagle doing his grand final special on the left foot. Lobbed it in front of the goal square. And he got the perfect off spinner straight through the centre. And the Red Legs have bolted. It's Sims and Button. Well, they say the creme de la creme are in Perth today. I've got a feeling that the parade 
I think the sooner that John Howard gets his back line back instead of the, he, when he pressed the button in defence, the panic button, they've looked anything but good stirred in defence. Graham, Fry, Graham, one bounce, two to Hollis. There's a left footer. So he had the handball to Darrington. Bad bounce. Hollis back on it. Button's played a magnificent game. It's going to be a ball up. He's going to be exhausted tonight, the Bear. I think we're stirred to falling down. Bruce isn't in defence. I don't think that John Halbert should have worried about Never. I think centre-half forward. I reckon that Paul Hollis is feeling the pinch there and he just can't compete and be at it at the moment because it's his first game back and I think if ever a change was going to made, it might have paid him to do that. He's played Eddie Fry there with a great deal of um, conviction in the early part of the season, and he's brought him back on into defence. And maybe now is the time for someone to go to centre half forward. So Jim Derrington, Neil Button, he's back there again, the big fellow. Graham Hughes, not much to kick to because he's got some space there. Ray Wilson's got there first. Nice tackle away by John Gallagher. Done a good job at centre wing since coming on at half time. 19-11-15-11. Tremendous excitement being generated here at the parade. Sims just lays it down, but didn't do it all that deftly. Out of bounds before Heinrich could really grab hold of it. Sturt need a goal. They need it desperately. That kick of Derrington's and the kick of Neagle's when you compare them. Derrington hitting the post. Neagle bouncing it through. Lux of fortune, they say. 125 to 101. Sims, Button, been tremendously impressed with Button today. Sims not far behind either. Barbary Collard. It's been a good ruck contest, hasn't it, Bruce? It's all day, the rucking's been through. Sims has done some good knocking, Button and Michael Annie. Peter Hargraves did a good job, but he hasn't been back on the ground for quite a while. Knocked away, Till. It's getting a little bit better at centre-half back. He's Good luck a while ago not to get caught holding the ball. I thought when he was a bit slow, but Hollis has got a kick. Going to prove me a liar. And the free kick that... Oh, Sturt not played. In defence by Walker, and he's got away with it. And that handball to himself virtually. The ball bounced on the ground. Bad kick. Hutton's got it. Somebody's got to do something for Sturt in a hurry. Sims takes the mark. Gallagher cribbing. Filpy's given him the lead, but Menzel's taken it easily. Michael Graham was on his own on the other side of the ground with a run into the open goal. Sims in the front spot. Should have got a free kick there. Lachlan towards the boundary line. Armat. John Gallagher covering some territory. He's on the other flank a moment ago. Michael Annie's run out of room. Lachlan. Pake runs across in front of him. Lachlan. Turvel. Turvel. Greg Thomas. Trial running down. Yeah. Now Michael Graham. Yeah, he's been out there waiting patiently for about five minutes. Michael Graham gets the free kick. Handballs along quickly to Peter Reed. Reed to half forward with a wobbly one. Hollis from the front spot. Teal. Tackled again, but gets it away with sheer strength. Hughes with a prodigious kick. And two on one, Peter Reid. Justin Scanlon up there with Neville Roberts. So Roberts probably do his favourite short pass here to somebody who you least expect him to pass it to. Just at the last second. It's hard to tell, Bruce. You watch a bloke play. I can't believe that footballers can let that happen. He does it every time. He's as predictable as the day. So Philip Heinrich gets his run on the ball. Just in time, I would have thought to nearly give a 15-metre penalty away as Gary Menzel takes the kick. 35 metres from goal, and I would say an opportunity to put the game beyond Sturt's ability at this stage. Menzel, two goals in that comeback for Nord in the third quarter. It's high, not going to quite make it. Michael Annie's got the mark. Is he tired, Bruce, young Gary Menzel? He's really, he could hardly get the legs to swing then. And he certainly roved he and Greg Thomas to perfection in the second half. They've worked incredibly hard. 
So Michael Lenny from the goal square, with a point alongside of his name, puts it straight through, and the Rednecks look home after a tremendous struggle all day. They're 20-11 to Sturt, 15-11. Button still there, Neagle. Philip Heinrich. He's done the trick in the last couple of weeks for Sturt. In fact, it started at Feverham a month ago when he came on the ball. They need almost a miracle now, the double blues. Armat, Button, again a ball up. Time will run out for Sturt, I think, Robert, because they've got to kick six goals, and even as good as they are, I don't think they can do it in ten minutes. Whittlesey's back at centre-half back now. They've made another change. As Wilson gets the ball out for Zubernick. Zubernick wide to the wing to Derrington. Derrington just runs it out of bounds. So it's out of bounds on the half-forward line. Sturt making wholesale changes in effort to get into the game. Tim Pake being shifted into the centre. Button continues to do a great job in this last quarter and a half. Filky, who hasn't been able to get into the game, just trapping the ball at half forward for another bounce down. Yes, he started very well, Craig Filky. Kicked three goals in the first half. Struggled six. Hargraves, Teal, Barbie to Hollis. Hollis on that left foot. Wilmot. Now he's kicked, that's yeah, a goal. It's just rolled through, Wilmot's let it go through. There it is. So Hollis has got his second. And the murmur from the Lord crowd. 16-11 to 20-11. Well, he's gonna kick four in 10 minutes, Bruce. There's plenty of time left. If Lord kick another one, that'll really put the game at an end. So Sturt are not going to give up. They haven't given up all day. Lord have always gone to the lead early in the quarters. They've played well, and Sturt have come back in every quarter. So that at every change, there's been only a goal in it, or less than that. It's a matter now of whether Sturt can come back and get their composure again after this onslaught by Nord. But Zubin. Hargraves diving on top of it with Stewart. And they can't get the ball away. Robert, it's been such a marvellous game. It deserves a brilliant finish. Oh, yes. It's been good. Sturt aren't finished with, I wouldn't think. Button in front, Hargrave, Heinrich, wide to the wing to Zubinick. Zubinick just goes to give it off, but Armat's equal. Well done, oh, well done, Zubinick. He just taps it back to Hutton. That was well done by Zubinick. He just tapped that back quietly then into half forward to Hollis. Hollis has gone to Derrington. Derrington goes in short up the line to Barbary. Barbary in the pocket. Sturt are running again. Painted to Darrington, and he's kicked it this time. So here they come. Can they make another comeback? One goal, three to Jimmy Darrington. 17-11 to 20-11, three goals the difference. Sturt's movement there was fantastic along the wing, on the grandstand wing. Moved the ball on, got to Barbary. Barbary gave it to Painter. Painter gave it to Darrington. And Darrington, who hit the post earlier in the quarter, was good enough in the pocket. And it's just 18 points of difference, and the Blues have still got a chance. But Peter Hargraves is on, and Sturt have lifted a little bit. So Button looks for an extra effort. Thomas, Zubrick put his hand on it. Hughes has fumbled it. They've bundled him out of the road. Zubrick to Pake. Pake's gone into full forward. Wilmot's under it, and he's taken it. A beautiful take. Strong, Walker with him. But the young fellow, strong as you like. He's plucked it out of the air. What a game. Might be a draw, Bruce. Well, Wilmot's kicked four. How does he feel? First game. Got to keep them in it with this kick. Shell and fees, he says. 18-11 start. 20-11 to the Red Legs. The Double Blues have kicked three goals in three minutes. And they're within two goals. Pake's kick was spot on. Wilmot's got a tremendous pair of hands. He made no mistake. And then he kicked truly under tremendous pressure. And all of a sudden, this game is alive again. Nord with five goals in front. Well, Peter Hargraves has done the job. Jim Michael Annie's gone onto the ball. Neil Button back into the forward line. So it's Hargraves and Michael Annie. Michael Annie, lovely tap down. Wilson's taken possession of Zubelik. They've come through this wing again. Zubelik to Heinrich. 
Heinrich running it on. Zubernik backs up into full forward. And Wilmot, he's there again. Played Zubernik. That's football. Now, here's the pressure kick, Robert. The other one was hard <laughs> from 20 metres out. What's this like for the young fella? I'd say she's looking about a half an inch wide at the moment, Bruce. Great shot from behind, Wilmot. No, looks all right from here, but I would say it is eyes, half inch to spare. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal by Wilmot. What a debut in league football. He's kicked six goals, and he's put the double blues within six points. Well, some game this, Odie. <laughs> oh, back and Odie, I'm gone. This is the game of the year. Like I've seen the Blues come back on four occasions now when the red legs have put them down, but they haven't quite counted them out. And I think it's got to be a draw, Bruce. I've never seen a game that I thought should be a draw, but I haven't seen any more even than this. Hargraves, Michael Annie, Neagle, Turville, Filky, spent his way out of trouble. Now, Ken Wilmot take a big mark? Almost. Adler Court. Till. Schmal. To Hughes. Stewart takes the mark. Gives it to Lachlan. Lachlan stops and props and kicks it high. Dumped away by Reed or oh, Eddie Fry. Great skill. Heinrich. Hutton. He's slow on the give, Bruce. He's there running it now. The Blues did Ruth Reed, Zubernick, Wilson. He's oh well done, Michael Addy. He's found a yard. So is Filky with another tackle. Umpire gets in the road of Hollis. Filky's worked it on. Painter's got slipperies. Has he got the leg? Oh, what five points, Bruce, and she's still in the forward line. Painter's point is his first score. 19-12 to 2011. It's 131 to 126. I couldn't care less what's happened at Subiaco, Bruce. That about you. <laughs> what a game. I'm glad I'm where I am. Schmal takes a chance. Turbill takes the mark. Then goes wide. Till. Just stops. Goes back. Has Lachlan and Schmal now running for him. Paul Hollis trying to run with him. He hasn't got a gallop left in Howard. Well done, Schmal. He ran from the full-back area, Bruce. And there's his mate with him. He went with him. Lock the miss kick. Long handball by Button. Now, if Neagle gets it up, Greg Thomas is on his own. Roberts tried to get rid of Reed, and Reed did it beautifully. In fact, Reed will get a free kick. It's a bad kick, I think. Bad mistake by Richard Neagle. I think if he'd have gone to the square, it would have been worth it. Because the point's handy at this, this go, Bruce. Peter Reed to the centre. Hargraves from the side. Whittlesey gives the handball out. It looks like Turnbull down the bottom there somewhere. <laughs> he's decided that he needs a bit of an effort to skip. And he's Neil, got in there. Neil Baum, anxious. So are 15,000 other people here at the ground. Darrington, Pake. Again, a ball up. Now, we've been playing about 27 minutes. Nord has kicked six goals. Sturt has kicked four, so there'll be plenty of time on. Three minutes left at least, I think. Again, Hargraves and Button. It might be the next goal that wins it, if there is one. Wilson, tremendous run. Painter. He's got it. He's going to move it on quickly. Painter kicks the ball to the goal square. Dumped away by Schmal. Oh, great effort by the little fellow. What a game. Robert, remember that goal that Schmal stopped in the second quarter when he got back? Oh, How remember. important is that now? What about that cool play he did just about three minutes ago out of the back line when he kicked it across the face to the goal calmly? Filky going for the knock. They've knocked it out of bounds again, Norwood. Very lucky, O'Dwyer, not to be penalised. This will take a bit of courage by an umpire. Hitting it out of bounds on the <laughs> deliberately. Especially if you know Wilmot's going to get the kick. <laughs> it's Hargraves and Michael Lanny. Hargraves took it out of the air. Free kick to Hargraves. He, he grabbed him. He caught the player unaware. Then it's bad luck because instead of tapping the ball, Peter Hargraves went for a take and tried to put it on his boot. And he non-plussed him, Michael Annie, completely. Peter Hargraves with the most important kick he's had for a couple of years and he has put it through and the double blues are in front well we're in the middle of the north stand and all I can hear is an echo somewhere on the other side 
deathly quiet and the Blues have hit the lead. Can the Red Legs kick a point, Bruce, and make it a draw? It deserves it. What a game of football this has been. 2012 to 2011. What a great moment for Peter Hargrave. Young man who's played his whole career with the Blues, waited for an opportunity, and he's put him in front in a vital game. It's Hargraves and Michael Lanny. Wilson, Derrington, Howard, a high one. Can Hollis take it? He can. Painter, Court, Chill, Armat, Court by Barbary, Barbary and Schmal, Painter, Howard. Now he should just go to Zubernick, he has. Zubernick's got a bit of time. Short, Graham's got it. The double blues have got a big chance now, Robert.